Assalamualaikum and good afternoon, Grade One. How are you all doing? Good. That's very great. Yes, I'm also good. Alhamdulillah. Thank you and welcome to your computing class. In today's class, we will be doing a very interesting topic. Why it's interesting? Because today we will learn that how we can make drawing with different shapes, right? So we will not be making that shapes. It would be very easy because that shapes would be given to us in the paint and we will just put them together and then we will create something out of it. Okay. So now before moving toward that, tell me that how many shapes do we have or how many shapes do you know about? Let's say if we talk about the mathematical shapes that we already know, the common shapes are this is a circle or this is a sphere. Okay, it's a bit. Okay, this is a circle. Then this is a square which has all four sides equal. Then we have this a triangle. Then we have a rectangle. Then we have a star. Then we have a pentagon. A pentagon basically have five shapes. Then we have a hexagon. A hexagon basically have six shapes. What other shapes do you know? Excellent. We know about a cone basically. This is a cone. Any other shape? Very well done. We know about the cylinder as well. And a cylinder looks like, okay, let me draw it away. This is a cylindrical shape. What else? That's it. Any other shape that comes in your mind? Okay, so these are enough even. We already know about a lot of shapes. A circle or a sphere, then we have a square a triangle, a rectangle. This is a pentagon. Why? Because it has five sides. One, two, three, four, five. We have a star. We have a cone shape. We have a hexagon. Pentagon have five sides and hexagon have six sides. Then we have a cylinder as well, right? So these are the common shapes that we already know. Now let's watch an interesting video related to the shapes together and then we will start practicing it on the paint, okay? Ooh, hey, hey. Oh, oh, hey you are. Hello everyone. Today, we're going to talk about shapes and learn how to draw them. So come, let's practice and learn about shapes. Enjoy! Ooh. Square. One, two, three, Four sides, that's a square. One, two, three sides, and that's a triangle. That's a circle with one stalk. Yes, come on. All right, that is a circle. That has two main sides. Five, six sides, that's a hexagon. Hmm, one, two, three, four, five, and that's a pentagon. Five sides. Oh, that's a sign. What sign is that? Let's learn. It's not easy to make. Yes. Another stoke. Come on. Yes. Try again. Oh, yes. 
That works. Yes, and yes, that's a peace sign. Oh, that one is easy. A one stroke. That's a oval. That's an oval. That's easy too. It's like a D upside down. That's a semicircle. That's a one stroke, a line. This one has four sides, but it's not a square. What is it? It's a rectangle. Oh, that's interesting. A curved line. It's a zigzag. So these are the shapes we learned today. Woohoo! Wonderful. See, they have, we have together, we have learned about a lot of shapes, right? And these shapes, basically, we have already devised the square. A square has four sides. Then we have a triangle. A triangle have three sides. Then we have a circle. A circle have the curves and it does not have any side. Then we have a hexagon. Hexa mean six. So a hexagon have six sides. Then we have a pentagon. A pentagon basically have five sides. Then we have the sign which looks um, not exactly but more of like a wheel but it's the sign of peace, right? Then we have this oval shape. A circle is uh, a circle looks like a ball but an oval more looks like an egg. Then we have this semicircle or the half circle shape. Then we have a straight line or a stroke. <coughs> After that, we have a rectangle. A rectangle also has the four sides, but this, it is not similar to the square. In this case, squares, all sides are equal. But in rectangle, we have two sides similar and the other two are similar. And the, finally, we have this a little haphazard line which is known as zigzag got it okay so now i'm going to share the screen with you we will open the paint section and we will learn about the shapes in that as well so so i'm going to share the screen show me a thumbs up if it is visible to you is it excellent okay so tell me can you see the sh word shapes written on this page where it is over here and these are different shapes as well right we have a line then we have a zigzag this is a circle then we have a square basically two squares then we have this which looks more like an arrow then a triangle then this is again a triangle a square a pentagon hexagon then we have two arrows. This is also arrow. So if we click on this basically as a small arrow, which is beside that, what it will be doing, it will open the whole shapes for us. Okay. Now let's say I want to make a house. Okay. I'm going to make a house. Now you will be together making it with me. I will open it for you and I'll make you learn that how you can make a house okay so what we will be doing first i'll take this square i have just selected click on the square now i will draw a square or a rectangle let's say this is a rectangle if i made it like this it will turn to a square if i'll stretch it more it will turn to a rectangle now this is a rectangle which i have drawn after that i want a triangle so i'll click on a triangle I want a triangle over here. Let's say like this. Now in the house, I want to make over here, I want to make a window. So for the window, I'll again select this and I'll make a window over here, a rectangle window like this. Over here, I want to make a door. So again with the square one, I will make a door like 
this see i'm using all the shapes right okay now i want this straight line and i'll make these straight lines and i'll make a design over here okay one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so the design is complete right now in the window i also want to make a grill so let's have a look see i'll make a grill over here so that it looks more like a window okay now this now it looks more like a window am i right okay now on this door i want to make a knob so i'll select a circle make a holder over here like this done okay now i have made a house what are the shapes i have used basically i first selected the square shape from here now the square and triangle both are similar when you will stretch it it will turn into a triangle rest or rectangle if you want to make a square you can do that as well right i made this then for the rooftop i selected the rectangle shape and i made it with that then again with square shape i have made this door and then the window after that for the designing i have used this straight line to make these things now we will learn that how we can color this how we can fill it with color right in order to fill it i'll click on this look at this bucket i'll click on this bucket now from here i will select any color whatever the color let's say i want to make the rooftop um, brown color so see i'll fill it like this with brown oops if you want to undo anything let's say i didn't want to do it like this but it has turned so i'll click on this arrow see it's back now the important point over here is that the bucket should be inside the portion where you want to color if it would be out of it it would turn into something which you do not want to so do it very carefully okay now i want this to be little what color should it be okay let's try with this pink color oh yeah it's good okay now for the windows i want this little blue color and for the door i again want to use which color uh again brown okay let's use the brown and for the door knob i'll be using the black now see i'll be doing it very carefully i have put the bucket inside it and now i'll click and it has turned to ten ten on a beautiful house right okay was it interesting did you enjoy it okay great now i want you guys to please open the paint on your laptops computers whatever the device you are using and make a house if you want to make anything else you can do that as well but because it's our first day to working with shapes so it would be better that you draw the house we will be practicing it every day we will be doing an activity so don't hurry up just make a house for today okay hurry up open the paint and then made a house you can uh, use the different colors you can use the different you can use a different design as well anything you can make changes accordingly but you are supposed to make a house all of you have started and you are not supposed to use anything else except the shapes okay do remember this that whatever you draw whatever you make you are supposed to use the shapes for that yes everybody is walking do you guys enjoying this lovely okay any confusion no okay let me know when you are done 
Okay, Lisa, are you done? Show it to me. Wonderful, excellent. Okay, what about you, Vase? Are you done? Show it to me. Great. Vase, you have choose a very good color scheme. Everybody clap for Vase. Okay, yes, what about you, Ahmed? Are you done? Show it to me. Great. See, Ahmed has used all of the shapes, right? He has made the designs on the rooftop and it looks beautiful. Okay, class, that was all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the lecture. Do share this video with others because it's free learning and do practice it at your home as well with different shapes. Make something else out of these shapes and then discuss it with me in tomorrow's class. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Take care. Allah Hafiz.